Welcome to your crypto class. I'm Susie and I've got AKA Crypto Girl and I've got Joe on the line, the creator of the Crypto Mastery Overlays and the Radar. And we are going to go over the news, the overall market, hot movers in the basket, crypto screen and review, indicators and Q&A. Right now the market is hot and it's moving and um, depending on you know your, your strategies, it could be moving in your favor or not in your favor. So it's an exciting time for some people. So here's some things. Um, Coinbase stock fluctuates at the open following layoff announcement by Adam Morgan McCarthy on the block IO. Coinbase traded down in a range of 2% to 5% following an announcement that they would be laying off 18% of their staff. The share price briefly fell below $50 on Tuesday after the open before recovering slightly. Crypto exchange Coinbase, COIN, was down as much as 5% on Tuesday following the announcement that 18% of staff would be laid off. CEO Brian Armstrong revealed in a blog spot post on Tuesday that Coin would be laying off 18% or about 1,100 staff with immediate effect. Shares in the company were trading at $49.34 at the time of writing after closing at $51.01 on Monday. Early trade in the exchange stock was highly volatile, swinging above and below $50 throughout the morning. Coin closed down 11.41% at the top of the week following a choppy day of trading in the U.S. that has spurred bear market fears. The exchange estimates that it will incur between $40 and 45, I'm sorry, 40 and 45 million in total restructuring expenses related to employee severance and other termination benefits. The news followed Coinbase's announcement on June 2nd that it would be freezing its hiring plans and rescinding some of the offers it extended. There will be the last news article. We'll circle back to that article. We'll talk a little bit about it. Justin, Polygon founder Nal Wall says crypto crash is temporary by Varinder Singh on Coingape.io. Layer 2 scaling solution Polygon's co-founder Sandeep Nal Wall on Tuesday said the current market conditions will not impact the long-term Web3 developments. He thinks the downturn is more due to macro conditions than any fundamental weakness in Web3. Moreover, he tries to spark fresh confidence in its investors as he believes Polygon will survive the difficult situation. However, despite an increase in partnership for Web3 ambition, Polygon still has a long way to go. In fact, Polygon has lost 66% in total locked TVL since the start of the year. On January 1st, Polygon had a TVL of around $5.44 billion. And this declined to around 1.82 billion on June 14th. Polygon's Sandeep Nalwal says that crypto market fall is temporary. Polygon's co-founder Sandeep Nalwal, in a tweet on June 14th, shared his opinion on the crypto market crash and its impact on Web3. He believes the bear market will be long, but a massive bullish recovery will be seen in the federal if the Federal Reserve removes this uncertainty. However, Nailwall also asserts that the possibility of it looks low considering sticky inflation and fears of stagflation. Commenting on the private market, Sandeep Nailwall said, a lot of VC funds have raised a lot of capital. Even though they will be careful in selecting their bets, and acceptable valuations would be much lower, but I expect the thesis-based VCs to keep deploying most of them will also play in liquid markets. And I picked this last article because the first article was about Coinbase and what is happening. And all in all, that's a coin store, just one coin store amongst thousands and thousands of other coin stores, or I'm just being simplifying that. It's an exchange. Okay. So now you have decentralized autonomous organizations. So I think it's really important because Coinbase is a centralized location to purchase coins. 
So I really want you guys to really zone in on DAOs, D-A-O, Decentralized Autonomous Organizations, okay? Because this is another place that you could be purchasing coins from. So DAO number spikes, number spike following the surge in vote numbers by Dennis on Bitcoinist.com. Over the past 12 months, the number of decentralized autonomous organizations, DAO, increased more than eight times. The growth is proportional to the rate of community participation. However, it doesn't imply that decentralized governments is following suit. Emery Kalaskan, an engineer from Electric Capital on Twitter, discussed the level of growth of DAOs in the DeFi ecosystem. In his tweet, the number of decentralized autonomous organizations expanded from 700 last May to over 6,000. This is an 8.8 .8 times growth in one full year. Also, he stated that votes increased from 448,800 to about 3.7 million, an 8.3 times growth. Then the number of proposals also expanded by over 8.5 times. He referenced the data from Snapshot, a distribution government's participation platform that allows decentralized autonomous organization members to suggest new decisions and vote on them. Snapshot, alongside Electric Capital, collected the data. Although the study shows a significant and compelling opportunity for DeFi governance models, the growth can be attested to some of the most hyperactive, decentralized, autonomous organizations. The new proposal emerged from only 10% of DAOs, whereas 60% had less than three proposals since they were established. Nevertheless, the growth is still worth recognizing as it reveals users' hope in the DAO framework. So what I wanted you guys to understand is decentralized autonomous organizations. It's basically there are places where you could actually purchase coins through decentralized autonomous organizations. So I, I invite you to learn a little bit more about those and why it's extremely significant that this is booming while everything else, almost like centralized Coinbase, is going down. All right, so now let's actually check out what's going on the market. And even though you think it may be bad, I think I'm gonna shed some little rainbow light on this. Okay, so here we have the market cap is down. And if you've been with me for the last year, you've seen us go from almost 3 trillion in the market cap, now we're down to the billions. So it depends. If you're a hodler, this could be a bittersweet time for you. It's an emotional roller coaster. But if you swing trade with the indicators that I'm about to share with you and we're going to explore the, the markets with, then you most likely have an upped portfolio because you let go when the indicator said, let it go, take profit, and then you're just holding and waiting for that drop to come. So this is a super exciting town time. <laughs> and what I'm seeing on my side of the fence is that there's a lot of conservative investors that are looking to get in right now and they're positioning themselves in stable coins. So I'd like today to be a little bit different than normal. And I do want to zone in on some stable coins. All right. So now right now we're at $953 billion in the total overall market cap of all of crypto land. It's like pennies right now. So imagine this like penny stock land. And none of this is financial advice. It's all just for strategic analyzation of the market, just to help you understand what you're working with, where you're going, and how to sort out the facts to figure out what's the best choice for you and your assets. All right. So this is a seven-day analysis. You can go to coinmarketcap.com, and I have the arrow up. It says market cap. That's my favorite number to look at every day, and, and that's pretty much how I know my very diversified portfolio, if it's down, why is it down? Well, overall, it's down. So there's no major expectations of anything at that point. And you kind of get a grip of, of what you need to do with your own portfolio in a macro perspective. Okay, so now we have Coin360. This is a heat map. And today, another thing we may want to do live is there's an actual heat map with trading view. So Joe's on the line and he discovered it and I just saw it this morning. So I would love to explore that with you guys too. But for now, 
I'm going to keep going with Coin360 today so we can use what we've been using for the last few months. So here's the one week market performance and market cap block size. And uh, I'm sorry, actually, guys, this may be the one month. I really apologize. I think this is the one month. So Bitcoin went down 28%, Ethereum went down 34%. I think that I literally was looking at this last night. I think it changed the time frame. I'm so sorry, guys. So I think this is one month. So remember that. Um, super exciting for someone that wants to get into the market. You know, because it's it, we are so far from the all time high of like sixty thousand dollars of Bitcoin. It's just an amazing moment. And um, you notice that in this heat map, everything that's dark red means it's three steps down. So we're beyond three steps down at this point with the overall market. Right. And then if it's green, it's well, the darker the red means the more it's dropped, okay? Then the middle red is like two steps down and the light red is one step down. Now, the green, the light green is the first step up in price and the middle green is the second step up in price and the dark green is three steps up in price. So it looks like Leo is getting some, um, some movement right now. I want you to take notice to some stable coins. You have USDC, that is still stable at $1. You have DAI, which is 99 cents. You have USDT, which is 99 cents. And BUSD, that is $1. And then US Tether, that is actually too small to see. So, and also I wanna take note that, look at the block sizes. Those are uh, market cap dominant sizes. So you can see where is most of the money. And at this point, you can visually see that Tether USDT is dominating the stable coin environment right now. All right. Then second in to USDT, which is Tether, is USDC. And then you can see BUSD, which is Binance stable coin, is third in the race of the stable coin dominance. And then you have, it looks like, DAI, D-A-I, and the third would be U-S-T. All right, so we're going to review the mastery.cryptobookade.com indicators now. If you guys don't have those or if you need to renew them, you could look down in the description below and check them out or in the questions box. Go to mastery.cryptobrigade.com. So here's Bitcoin USD one week performance chart with the radar indicator. This is phenomenal because it turns like four charts into one. So right now I have my chart set for one week, which means that the candlesticks are representing the average of where the value of Bitcoin was within that one week. You see those little lines. Those are what we call wicks. It's like a candlestick wick. And that just represents that within the average of that week, it did, it did go down or up a significant amount where that wick goes to, but it didn't stay in that price range long enough to give it that thickness of the candle. So it's exciting because sometimes those wicks are long and thin. And if you had a, a you know, a, if you had set a sell order in there for a higher price, you could have sold really fast in a second, and uh, then it would have went back down, and you would have gotten that sale. So, uh, but on the flip side, if you were to put a stop loss in and it went down just very fast and went back, back up, then you're out, you're out. So um, just know that um, stop losses, sometimes the market, you just go right down there, pick it up. Be careful what you ask for, okay? I'd say ask for profit, ask for profit first. Profit's a priority here. Okay, depending on which way you're betting, putting your bets in on the market. Okay, so what is the radar? Just so you guys understand what this little indicator means on the lower right hand side. The time frame 240 means 240 minutes. So that's four hours. And then the 1D stands for one day. The 1W is one week. And the 1M is one month. And the arrows and the colors are saying for the four hour average right now, Bitcoin is going up, but on the one day on that, the one day average is going down, the one week is down and the one month is down. So 
that's exciting. On a four-hour basis, we have some movement up. So now we have Coinbase Bitcoin USD one-week performance chart with the crypto mastery indicators. So the top indicator we call the early reversal, and you see that early reversal came in back in April, and then it did go down. We just are waiting to see if we have an early reversal going upward, and so far it's not here. And then you can see how collectively all of these indicators, you want to make certain when you're making a move, you want to make sure that all the indicators are, are simultaneously pushing you into the correct direction of where you are going to put your order or sell in. So at this moment, the trend for Bitcoin on a one week analysis is going down and then you have the trend strength those arrows are still red and going down now the good thing is it's down so you, you want to buy on the floor right so here we have we're just waiting the signal line is going down still and the volatility index is at my so exciting place 5.48 this is um thrilling to me it's like getting a house beyond foreclosure it's like buying a house when it's uh i, I don't even know it, it's like foreclosed and um and it's like pennies on the dollar so the 5.48 that number to the right of the volatility index is a very exciting time and hopefully you have some sideline savings so that when this thing um starts to flip or gets to the ultimate floor that you'll be able to scoop it up. And I do want to take note on the early reversal indicator, those three bands up top, the Keltner belt, Keltner bands, that red bar that you see to the very right, that is low. And those Keltner bands represent an average of where the price has been. And so that's another really, really strong indicator that this is so flooring it is on the floor so i always say you make money when you buy a house you know so same scenario here um you got to buy low and th this is this is it it's just that you've got to time the buy at the right time and today i you know i i say i'm i'm holding but i can't wait to get live with joe and hopefully you guys want to talk too and we'll see kind of what you're doing too collectively you know, it's always collective strategies are fun too. So here's Ethereum, the one week performance chart with the radar indicator. And you could see that the 240, which is the four hour average is moving up and the one day is moving up. But the one week is still down and the one month is still down. And you see that, um, you see that candlestick, it went down and then it went right back up. This is an exciting time to, be able to see Ethereum at this price, 1,222 at the time that I took this this morning. So um, that is great for anybody that is in acquisition mode. Again, I am um, I'm watching, and I'm watching. You know, there's depending on where your portfolio is or where mine is. You know, there's this portion of long-term hold, and then there's a portion of swing. So um, you know, all that has to take into play before I make a buy. All right, so here is Ethereum with the a one week chart of Ethereum USD utilizing the crypto mastery indicators. Again, just like Bitcoin, the early reversal came in back in April that it was going to go down. And what did it do? It went down. So you could also look at that red arrow as it's time to take profit. If you've got it, take it. Because if you don't take it now, you're going to lose it for a little bit. All right. So um, we're in with this market, it could be a long bit, <laughs> okay? But it is what it is. So then you have the trend. And again, the trend is saying, no, pause time. You know, things are moving in, in the downward direction. If you're, on, if you're a buy only earner, meaning that you only make money when you buy low and sell high, then this is the time to just relax and wait. Then you have the TSI, which is a trend strength indicator. And that again is going downward on a one week average. And the signal line, again, is showing downward. And the volatility index, guys, this is even better than Bitcoin. Look at that volatility index to the right-hand side, that 2.54 hot diggity dog. That is so exciting. I mean, as a buyer, you just can't have more than, 
I mean, well, I can't say you can't have more than that as a, as a better deal. At this point, I'm still waiting, right? Like, wow. Um, it's just, if, if Ethereum wasn't such an essential asset to the Web 3.0, then I wouldn't be so exciting. But it's like knowing that you have like an A1 football player on a team and it's like, you know that that guy's going to get drafted no matter what. He's an essential part of the team. So that's kind of what I think Ethereum, Ethereum is. It's like an essential infrastructure because so many projects have been built upon Ethereum. I know we think, oh my God, crypto's done. Something's happening with Coinbase. But I'm just going to be flat out serious with you guys. Coinbase is just a crypto store. Don't get all like excited or like, you know, like worried about, oh, the, the entire Web 3.0 is done because a store is not doing well. No, it's just a store. So it's just a matter of perspective. The technology for Web 3.0, it is it's still moving forward and moving forward fast. And, it, and and just because a store may not be doing well, it doesn't mean that the entire house of cards is coming down. All right. The infrastructure is still going to be there. So, um, you know, this is when you may want to do some fundamental research to understand you know, what projects are here for the long run. And um, this this whole scenario is really going to shake out the weak and unplanned performing companies out there. Um, give me one second. I'm going to go to the next slide. OK, so here is a basket that we've created and we've got way above and beyond these that we're watching, though. The basket of recommendations that had come in um, about a year ago are Bitcoin, Ethereum, Polygon, Cardano, Chainlink, Litecoin, Cosmos, Algorand, Harmony, Phantom, and Solana. And these are still standing today. So most of these coins can be found on Coinbase. So you're about to see some hot levers in the basket. So this basket is beyond just that basket. I did an analysis last night and I checked it again tonight and um, it was exciting. Some of these coins that were down for the week are showing great, great um, comebacks for the day. So I told you there was a rainbow at the end of this little rainstorm and look at what I'm seeing today, guys. So Helium HNT is up 18%. Cardano ADA is up 8.5%. Link is up 7.84%. Dreams US is up 2.79%. That's one that Joe found last week. Axis, 8.3%. Solana is up 8.29%. Ethereum purchased with BTC is up 1.8%. Check this one out. OGN is up 15.34%. And E-Gold is up 11.8%. KSM bought with USDT is up 8.42%. Sand is up 7%. Stellar Lumens is up 6.99%. Um, Sand purchased with USD is up 7.03%. Rune is up 5.86%. Rune purchased with BTC is up 5.4%. LDOU purchased with uh, DLO purchased with USDT is up 4.91%. Litecoin purchased with USD is up 5.1%. And Phil purchased with USD is up 5.09%. So this is reality right now. Um, so, you know, I, these are for intraday traders, okay? These are numbers that are up within the moment, okay? So if you're in the moment, in the time of your life where you could sit at the computer and just swing trade, intraday swing trade, this is the time. So I look forward to you guys putting some notes in the question box and say, hey, I want to, I want to learn how to intraday trade or how do I use these indicators to do that? Because people are making profit right now. All right, so. And you're going to see the crypto screener in a second. <laughs> and it's going to say sell, sell, sell. Because these coins are up, 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 right? And the, the system is going to say take profit. Um, watch list coins up for the moment. So that is, I had made this, my watch list. I had put the little indicator, the, the um, sub name. Up there it says up for the moment and there was a lot that are up for the moment so I expanded the the screenshot to more but you can 
create a sub list name. So I wanted to make sure you knew that. You can organize your watch list by the percent of change in the profit and in, in the up percentage or the down percentage. You can change it by the amount of change in the price. You can change it by the last price or the symbol name. And you can also add subsections to your watch list to better organize what is ready to buy versus what is ripe and ready to sell. And these coins are up for the day, but I always look for coins on the floor to be ready for your next buy or low, your next low buy. Crypto screener review. Okay, so this is, I took all the coins in my watch list and I flagged them as pink, whether they're up or down, just so I could get a good perspective and see what the trading view software was suggesting to do. So with the trading view crypto screener, this is what their moving average rating is. And I was just told you earlier that you were gonna see that sell, sell, sell. So these are the ones that the trading view software is saying it's a good time to take profit which makes sense because they're up a pretty much amount, a good amount, right? So I want to let you know that if you're wanting to use that crypto screener, you could filter it by just an exchange. So you would go to the right-hand side, click filter, and then under exchange, click the little arrow down to the right of Coinbase, and it will give you multiple exchanges that you can choose from that they interact with. And then this is a little bit more so you understand the other areas on the crypto screener. So you can color code your flags. So for what I did today is I color coded my flags pink, but in this example, I color coded my watch list all orange. And then I went to the left hand side and where it says ticker 13 matches, I clicked on that flag and made it orange. And that way you're not looking at thousands of crypto coins and, um, and currencies. You can really just zone in on what you need to look at. And then you can change the time frame to the analysis to one day, one hour, I have it set for one week, and then moving average rating. And you can see on this example, they actually do have strong buy or buy, neutral sell or strong sell. So I use this technology to find clues and the indicators come, these indicators, they come with TradingView, and they're not what I use to decide to take a trade, but it's good to get more information before making a decision. So I also want you to know what everything stands for. So you can sort by moving average rating. You can also sort by last price or by simple moving average of 20 days, simple moving average of 50 days, and simple moving average of 200 days. And notice the little tiny S and the B that stands for sell or buy. We're gonna review now the mastery.cryptobrigade.com indicators. So to subscribe, just go to the URL above in the description here, or you can go in the description on the bottom of this video and check out that link. Here are the indicators. We have volatility index, oversold conditions. You have ERI indicator, early reversal indicator, the dynamic ATR. The true, the trend indicator, the TSI, which is trend strength indicator, radar screener 1.0, and you have the signal line. So the radar 1.0, it's used to organize your watch list. It confirms trade progression. It shows four different chart times. It can be applied to multiple indicators, and all, all, blah, I'm so sorry, guys. Allows you to see four plus time frame trend directions on one chart. The radar 1.0 turns four charts into one. You can see on the left hand side on the radar, it says there's a little spoke. If you click on that spoke, you can customize the time frames. So although these are preset to go for 60 minutes, one hour, one day, and one week, or um, it may be actually four hours, one day, one week, and one month, you can customize your time frames and you can add as many radars as you want on your chart. So I like to have three radars with three different time frames because I like to look at intraday. I like to look at like 10 time frames at the same time. So technically, I turn one chart into probably 10, 10 different uh, screens. 
All right, so here is an example where you could click on that spoke, and this is what pops up when you are going to customize your time frames. Time frame one, two, three, and four. Three minute, five minute, 10 minute, 30 minute. So during the uh, Luna, um, the Luna escapade, I was watching it closely. And so that's where the screenshot came from. Uh, all right, so trend indicator number one, use to set alerts, step one. The key will pop up to indicate there's a great chance that an upward trend is coming. So stay alert and get ready. Step two, the bell indicator pops up. It confirms the trend direction. This means the upward direction is strong. You may wanna take action. Step three is numbers one through seven, confirm trend direction with these numerical numbers. Number one is the beginning of the first bar from which all buy conditions are met. Two to seven, it's the total number count of the present cycle. If buy conditions criteria are still met, the number count will then restart from the bell. So here's the trend indicator at work. You have the key that pops up. It says, hey, the key opportunity, the bell for the bell alert, and then number one through seven confirm the trend direction. And then when the trend direction changes, you could see on the upper area where the bell came in and then there was not a one. And that means, Houston, we have a problem. You know, there's, there's some resistance in the upward movement and then that's when you have to really consider, all right, it's time to take profit or I don't know how low this will go, right? So it's like, if you don't take action now, then forever hold your peace. So then you have volatility index. This shows overbought and oversold conditions. It's used with shorter timeframes. The signal line, it shows trend direction confirmation when the green linear average crosses the red. The TSI, powerful indicator, this trend strength indicator, it shows early trend reversal when the green plots start and it shows early exit reversal when the red plots start. Great, great indicator. And love this one, the ERI, it stands for early reversal indicator. I call it the Houdini like magic, the green arrow up means the conditions for a soon upward trend are present, and the red arrow down means the conditions for a soon downward trend are present. Guys, the mathematical configurations that are installed in these indicators are intense and powerful, and if you really grasp and you spend the time to acquire the understanding of how to read these indicators, you will have a cutting edge and, and you will you will have the insight of, of moments to make a good decision, a good sound and safe trading decision so that you can stay safe and, and have this be a very positive part of your life in multiple ways. <laughs> okay, so here is an example of the, the indicator. So you have the early reversal in the upper right-hand corner, you see the description and bam, the red arrow comes in. So that's like saying to you, if I don't have profit now, I'm going to have less profit later. If I have profit now, I should take it because it's going to go down. See the early reversal came in and boom, it starts going down. At this point, we're waiting for another one to know that it's moving back up. The trend indicator. When the numbers stop coming in, when you, you have a little bit of, of movement up and then the number doesn't come in, that's a second confirmation things are still going down. The trend strength, when you can see on the trend strength indicator and the trend that it, it, things were moving up and then it stopped and then bam, you could see the gold line and the green line cross. And when that cross happens, that the other direction is coming. So all this is really telling you 100%, you know what's, what's happening. It's not like a question in your mind what's going on in the market because the math is an intense mathematical calculation that is showing you what's happening. The signal line, that's another one. The closer those lines are, that means that those could switch at any time. So you want to have a really healthy, a, a healthy, most attractive um, movement is when the lines are separated the most and then that gives you the strength of that of of that movement so you can see here the signal line was tight during that whole little mini uptrend you just had where the trend strength and the trend and the early reversal kind of were going together and then bam it ended but 
the signal line was showing you that this isn't really a strong upward movement. So that signal line is a really good one to look at to say, hmm, what percentage am I going to put in? Well, it's not very strong, so I'm going to like tippy toe into this pond, right? And then the volatility index, hands down my favorite. When it's in the red zone, and I'm going to jump into the next slide and you're going to see the volatility index, but when it's in the red zone, it's oversold. So that's super low price. And when it's in the green zone, which you can see in the volatility index on this particular slide, it was back in November of 2021. That means don't buy it there. That's like at a high, that's a high buy and you're going to hit a ceiling. So these, these really show you, are you at a ceiling or are you at a floor? And I want you to think about this. If you're at a ceiling, how far can you go? But not really far. So, you know, why I'm so excited today is because I see floors. When I see floors, that's when I get my checkbook out. And I'm like, yeah. And, and right now, I'm seeing floors and I'm seeing like I'm on a toboggan going down a snow hill and I'm waiting until I crash against the ground and get out the roller coaster to walk back up. But right now, I'm still in the toboggan going down the roller coaster, right? So it hasn't stopped yet. We're still going down. So we have to wait until we hit that down dip on the roller coaster to figure out, to, to start getting back up, right? So it's, it's a good time. It's just enjoy the ride down. So here's my favorite indicator explained. The volatility indicator measures how far the coin stretches away from its mean price. So if you look on the upper left area of this little lower area of the chart, I take profits here and I'm pointing at the green line. And so green for go, but not buy go. It's like green for take profit. Like there's some money here. So I want now to take your eyes to the right hand side of the slide. Take note that the numbers and descriptions here show that the overbought at 80 to 100. Those numbers are very significant because in TradingView, you can set an alert to yourself so that you could say take profit to yourself. You could send an alert saying take profit at 80 or take profit at 100. Just so if you're out doing life and you just need an email just to, to say, ding, it's time, get your phone out, make a move, trade, then you do it and you move on and, and you could take profit. It's like time to take a check, time to pay, take a paycheck. Now go down to the, oh, well, first of all, I'll let you know that Thick line, the thick bottom green line is line number 80, and the top line is number 10. So if you guys don't know how to set an alert, ask me today in the questions box, how do I set a volatility index alert? And we'll show you how to do that with those numbers, because this is a really important one. Right now, um, I mean, this slide is not from today. This is just for an example. Well, right now, we're down in the volatility, so we can look at that in a minute on the live chart. But... The, where we are right now are down in the red zone, which is super exciting to buy. So the thick of the red line on the bottom is a number 20 and the thin one is a zero. So you saw that Ethereum right now is at a 2.41, I think, or 1.4. Oh, so exciting. I mean, maybe it was a different number, but it was so low, so low. And these don't get down in the red zone very often. So I'm trying to explain to you how rare this moment in time is and um, and, and that it's not time to take advantage of it yet, but but when when it comes and it's about to flip, then then that's the, that's it. You may not see this low anymore very, you know, on, on some of these. So um, so I like to buy as low to the zero as possible, depending on, on what I'm, yeah, period. Because basically you're buying on the floor, so you have the whole, whole like wall to go up. Let's say you're in a room, right? You buy on the floor and then you can uh, inch your way up to the ceiling again. And that's the middle area is what we call let the cake bake. That's the brown, the gray line. Um, and that is also indicated in some other indicators too. So. It's really great how these indicators work together. If you don't have them, again, you can go to mastery.cryptobrigade.com to renew them or scoop them up now. So here's a fun part where we can unleash 
your voice and we can look at all of the coins and Joe is on the line. So I look forward to uh, hearing from you guys today and hopefully somebody can um, you know, talk to us. Tell us Hello, what's hi, going on. Hey. How's it going? <laughs> great, great. You know, um, what I wanted to do is just touch on a, on a couple of things here. Uh, one of them was is, is that, um, you know, uh, I wanted to take a look at this market in particular. And this is the uh, Litecoin and the Ethereum. So if you could um, put this market on and let's hide a couple of things here. Okay, you want to look at Ethereum? No, it's Litecoin Ethereum, LTC, ETH. There you go, on Gemini. Perfect. And if you could uh, hide the uh, ATR, and uh, we only want uh, one radar. Okay, perfect. All right, and uh, one of the reasons why I chose this one um, is because the daily and the weekly are up. So if you can change this chart to a weekly. Um, it is a weekly. Oh, okay. And if you could um, decrease the bar spacing so it's a little bit tighter. Oh, like this? Okay. Yeah, it's okay. really yeah. tiny today. Right here. Yeah, well, it's it's just the way the chart is, but I wanted to point this out because, like, this market represents two pairs, the Litecoin and the Ethereum. And a lot of times when the markets are in turmoil, and I think until we have the uh, Fed's announcement tomorrow on or decision on interest rates, we're probably going to see a lot of volatility, high volatility. Uh, generally, we'll start to see money move into the pairs. And this is one in particular, uh, like if you change this chart to a daily. Whereas the daily and the weekly are both green. And uh, and this is what we want to look to see happen in the other markets. But not all the other markets are set like this market. And uh, that's mainly because you get money that goes into the pairs before we actually um, see something in the major. So if you take a look at this, you see how the ERI came in on the uh, 13th, Susie? Yeah, right here. Yeah, and if you minimize that first radar. Oh, yeah, that's interesting. Okay, so here. There we go. Or, yeah, yeah, there you go. I just wanna just point out a couple of things. First is that we had the uh, ERI, which is the early reversal indicator, give its first clue showing with the vertical green line. And uh, we also have the bell alert. So if you move the chart over to the left more, and you can see the bell alert took place today, Susie? You mean like to this one? You want, when... Yeah, right there like that. I just wanted to just show, you know, that we had the bell alert today, we had the ERI two days ago, and we also had the signal line cross up today. So this is showing strength, which is moving into the cross, you know, into the pair. And this is like the best thing that I've found right now on here. So anybody that's following along, take a look at this one. Um, keep an eye on this one here uh, over the next couple of days. Um, you know, we may see money, more money shift into this, and we just got a bell alert. So there's a good chance we may see a new number one or number two, uh, and, and we'll actually see if the trend, if it recovers, because, you know, we actually come off substantially from where we were. Yeah, so um, I'm trying to get this. So guys, if you're on trading view, this this ruler here you could click on the bottom and I'm going to just go to where it is like kind of right now average so in one day it went up 13.31 percent 
and it's not at the top of this count number. Look at wow, let's just see how far that went. That's a spike down here and all the way up to here. 21% in one day. That's great. Yeah. And this yeah. is something that could be the first clues that maybe the market is bottoming because it, it's it's difficult to say, okay, well, Bitcoin is bottoming out. Well, we don't know that, you know, or, you know, and it's difficult to say, hey, this is the market bottom. But what we do know is, is that there's over 300 of these coins that they have at the brokerage. So we don't have to have tunnel vision just on one coin. We have the tools. All we have to do is follow the money flow with the tools, you know, and set your yeah. alerts. You know, I'm just going to put this out there. One thing I find interesting is this is on Gemini. So with Coinbase being in its little, you know, having its personal issues, um, you know, Gemini may be up and coming or something. I'm really thinking this because Gemini got that loan from, Gemini is the one that gave BlackRock the loan to to buy all that luna i shouldn't talk about that sorry anyways i'm just thinking at the end of the day the everyone that's gemini keeps winning <laughs> in all these scenarios so um it's just interesting because you can't find the ethereum litecoin combination on coinbase but it is on gemini i'm just thinking i think maybe gemini may be scooping up a lot more business because it's a usa approved exchange so people may be um, flocking to Gemini too at this point. Just an observation. Could be. I mean, look, Gemini is a great brokerage. Uh, Coinbase is, a, you know, is a good brokerage. Uh, you know, one of the main things that dif differentiating these different brokerages is what they're actually giving you on a staking. You know, but um, and and what your commissions may be. But overall, at at the end of the day. We want the market to come to us. We want to set the alerts and we don't want to be biased to which market we can become profitable or, or trade where the opportunity is. So um, this right here, for example, um, you know, we're, we're green. So Susie, another thing I wanted to do is, is, is that if you go back to that crypto screener, because you went over it with everyone and I just wanted to, uh, kind of go over this again and maybe remove a couple of the fields and then that way we can kind of show everyone how to do Gemini for instance and we'll just choose the Gemini brokerage and see if we can find maybe another pair that's moving so here's Gemini oh you know what let me take this out like I just um yeah, so I had that set to all of our uh, coins that we had. So here, I'll make it big for the moment. If you could remove the column which says last and SMA. Perfect. So anybody knew what you want to do is, is remove the columns and then you just want to choose the brokerage that you're trading with. In this case, we're using Gemini. And then now we can immediately see what may be moving. Now, just because it's a strong buy doesn't mean we have enough data. So Susie, you have to do like a half a page and let's see if, if there's any data there on here on these. Ooh, look at that. Okay, so this is potentially, you know, something in here that uh, may be turning. Uh, the daily is green. Wait, Joe, I'm going to back up. I want you guys to know I'm set for one week, okay? So what we're doing, you can do one minute, five minutes, one day. I'm at one week. So what this is doing is it's telling you what's up for the week, and then you can zone in on that so you know that it's already up for the week. So I'm sorry, Joe. I just want to make sure that they knew that we were set for one week there. Yeah, and you know that, and it also goes depending on what type of trader you are. Because if you're more of a short-term trader, you know, uh, you might want to look at the daily. Um, if you're looking at things uh, more of a swing trade position, you might want to be on the weekly. And uh, and actually, I like the weekly, Susie. Right? If you put it back to that, just I want to tell you why. Because the weekly, you notice how it doesn't give you too much, but it gives you just enough. 
So, like, if you take a look at just the top pairs on here, let's see if we can find one with the uh, daily and weekly both green. Oh, good idea. All right. So, so all right. So, basically, guys, I'm going to just scroll this down. Wait. Mm. I need this to well here's a daily and a weekly right there okay on the, that so what i'm going to do is we're zoning in our eyes on the one day and one week on the radar and then we're going to go through these and the daily is down but the week is up okay here's zcash being purchased litecoin daily down week is down ctx purchased with usd all right ctx day is up week is up but the four hour is down <laughs> Now, 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 remember, Susie, it may never be perfect, but let's take a look at this one here a second. Let's just talk about this. I'm going to shrink it, this just to make it bigger. Yeah. And and basically is, is that let's talk about the setup, okay? Because okay. this is something that's reoccurring, and it, and, it, and it doesn't matter which coin that we're in. This is how you use the tools. If you take a look on there on the 27th, you see how the ERI shows the vertical uh, green line. This is the first clue. Yeah. Uh, the ER. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Okay. Boom. Right there. That was the ERI. So let me move this. You guys can see it. What that is right there. That's the, I call it the Houdini. It says it's going to go up. So there we go. Yeah. Well, basically that's the, the, the early clue that you get. So when you get the ERI, uh, which is shown in the green, if you move that just to the left, Susie, uh, that vertical uh, line. Okay. I'll, I, move the, I'll move the line to the left a little bit. Okay. Yeah, I just want them to see the vertical green line because you okay. could put an arrow and just point it right there. Yeah, right there. There you go. Okay, see. perfect. Right? That's the ERI. Now, the ERI comes in early. That's a clue. Now, the next indicator, which shows the clue, is if you look at the vertical line is the volatility index. So we have the volatility index and the ERI both giving the clue that this market may potentially turn. And, you know, we can scale into our positions uh, accordingly. You know, uh, that's the best way to, to utilize the program because, you know, you're looking to um, scale in uh, and it's like apply risk management according to the positions that you're uh, accumulating with the chart overlays. So in this case point, you could have put in 25 on the ERI, you could have put another 25 on the volatility index. And then if you notice, next is the TSI when it shows green. Now the TSI is one of the strongest uh, chart overlays. And when this thing goes green, it generally signifies the beginning of something, uh, the beginning of a trend. So in this case point, we got our green. Yeah, Perfect. we got our trend strength indicator, guys. Yep. Right. And then next we got the signal line, which is shown with the cross. And then the final signal was the bell alert. And um, the, the, the bell alert, Come, uh, takes place with the trend indicator. And what's so special about this is that this is like the final chart overlay before the trend begins. Because, you know, when the market moves and the cycle changes, it's elusive. So this is something that's mathematical that's happening with inside the algorithm. And, and that's why we have the best five chart overlays to show these clues. The trend indicator, um, once you get the bell alert, um, thereafter, you'll notice the numeric count. One, two, three. If the numeric count continues higher, that means that the market is trending. If the numeric count stops, that means that it's possibly reversal. Now, what's so good about this is, what makes this incredible, is that the numeric count shows also a green line. And that confirms the trend. So as long as you're, um, you see the market trending, that will confirm your positions. 
And in this case, I mean, I, I don't know how much we move Susie from the bell alert, but if you look at from the bell alert to the ERI, which which bell? You have bell and the bell. It, well, the first bell alert, which is the signal. This bell. Yes. And if you look at how far we went to to the high, just so that we can get oh, an idea okay, let me, so of how so much. So you take the ruler and see where we're at. So from this bell to, we'll say to where it was, it went up oh, 149% 13 days. Yeah. Wow. So guys, let's just review how we got here. We went to the crypto screener. We had it at one week, one week. We looked for, we filtered right here. We did Gemini and then we looked for strong buys. And then what we did is I'm going to do it. We went from strong buy. We looked for the, we used the radar. So just using the radar, we looked for the day and the week to be merged together. Strong buy day and week, not remember multiple dailies ends up with the weekly. So if you just have the day up, that could be an indicator to keep watching that, right? Until the days add up to a week. So Litecoin BCH, which is Bitcoin Cash, not yet. Zcash LTC, nope, wasn't happening for us. Then we went down to CTXUSD. Bam, that's how we just found this. And then. Yeah, you know, and Susie, this, the, the big thing I, I just want to just kind of point out to you is that like, you know, the, the this in this crypto universe, it doesn't revolve around Bitcoin. It doesn't revolve around Ethereum. If if that's the best that you can do, or the, or the only thing that you want to do, you're restricting yourself and and putting putting restrictions on yourself to all the possibilities of what you could be doing, because there's so much more to this business other than just Bitcoin or other than just Ethereum. And and I just say that because even myself sometimes it's easy to um, get tunnel vision and then these op other opportunities like this just took place the beginning of uh, June. So this opportunity was like in 14 days, the last two weeks, Susie. And, um, you, you know, sometimes you can get, you know, just a trader in general, not anyone specific, but a trader can get tunnel vision in a particular market. And anybody that may have been watching, let's say the Bitcoin or the Ethereum, or some of these other uh, products, they may have not gotten the full benefit of utilizing these tools, which um, which is the power of that crypto screener and how on your own, Susie, you know, once you have an education, you know, you can go to the brokerage and if the market is, play, is playing your rules, hey, that's a win. But if the rules aren't there and it's not ready, let the market come to you. But ultimately, you know, um, there's a bunch of coins in there uh, other than the majors. And this is just an example of just one we just pointed out, whereas is that, um, you know, the intellectual trader, you know, two weeks ago, um, this was the opportunity, you know, one of the opportunities um, that's still trending positive, you know, where you have it within the rules, where we have the weekly and we have the daily both green. So we're able to find two trade, two markets so far. Um, we still got time, Susie. Maybe we might be able to find one more. All right, let's do what this. What do you think? Yeah, I think so. I mean, so far, let me see if there's questions. Everybody's so quiet today. I asked if anybody wanted to get unmuted. Nothing. All right, well, so Gilio, good to see you, Jan, KS, Paul, Terry. Good to see all of you guys again. All right, here we go. Let's check for the next one. All right, so M I M Mim. Hmm. Down for the day, up for the week. Ooh. All right. Oh, day day D A I guys. That's a stable coin, and I did say we would talk about stable coins. Um, I just wanted to give you guys. Just can I just quickly give them a little splurt? What I I said earlier, I wanted to talk about stable coins, and what I want to say is, guys, this is the time where you could be looking at all, and Joe mentioned this, 
all the staking benefits of a stable coin right now. So you could be searching for decentralized exchanges where you could be staking your stable coin to get a commission from staking. And that's one of those ideas where sideline income, where you could create that and be making money while you sleep, is from the staking rewards of a stable coin, where you don't have a locked in contract where you can take it out anytime you want. So that's a way a lot of people are maximizing their income producing activities. Wow, let's look at this one, Joe. I think we found it. Link ETH. Chainlink made me lots of money last year. I bought some property with that. <laughs> now, this is, now, if you notice, Susie, right? First is notice the symbol. It's two pairs. It's the link Ethereum, right? So, uh, so it, it, it's just, it's showing your money flow. Now, each time the market, you know, unfolds itself, it's a little bit different. In, in this case point, right, we need to look at the beginning from when the trend started. So in this case, the trend really started with the volatility index. And uh, right once we got, yeah. yeah, exactly. And then once we got the volatility index, right, then we got the TSI, and then we got the signal line, and then the bell alert. So in this case, there was no ERI. It, it was just the volatility, TSI, signal line, and then trend. So one, two, three, four. So if you did, I always say 20%. So I leave 20% on the sidelines to down cost average myself out. But Joe goes in 25, 25, and 25. <laughs> so we're different and that's okay, right, Joe? <laughs> Joe's a high roller. I'm an anti-risk girl. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go all in. So, um, yeah, so what percent did this thing go here? One, two, three, wait, wait, one, two, what did I was, so I put this, the line here, guys, to show the volatility index was super low. I mean, close to zero, very exciting, right? Um, what what do you, oh, you want to know what the percentage it went up was? Yeah, with the ruler. All right, all right, so here we go. Let's go. Do you want to start where the bell went, or do you want to start with the TSI, or do you want to start with well, the volatility? I'm going to go with the volatility. Let's start where the bell. Yeah, well, just if, if you can take a look at the bell alert. Yeah, because the bell right. alert is like the last time, the last, the last the alert last before, chance. you know. Yes. Yeah. All right. All right. Best because I'm a volley that. girl, I'm a volatility girl. I'm just going to show you both. Here's 63.92% if you got in at the volatility low, low. And that's in 33 days, 63% up in this funky market. Okay, then he says the bell. So we'll skip the TSI, which gets me really excited with that. So here's the bell. And then we'll go there. So 43.52% in 28 days if you got in on the bell. So if you don't get it on the volatility, like my favorite is, then you lost 20%. You left 20% on the table if you didn't get in when it was red, red, red. Joe, can you tell I really love your volatility index? <laughs> well, look, the volatility index, it, uh, you know, it, it just shows another great, it, great clue. It's just when the market's in motion, it's impossible to know the exact timing of when everything, the market's going to turn. So that's why you need to have each one of these chart overlays because each one does a special calculation and this is proprietary. Like it's like you can't go on Trading View and be like, oh, you know, I I seen you know so and so using this. No, it doesn't work that way. You know, like this is proprietary. That means it's in our part of the cloud, which is private, secure, within you know inside Trading View, and uh, it's a secret. And everyone who has access to this secret, they gain the advantage and the wisdom, and the education. And uh, that uh, manifests into success. And that's usually how it works. You know, it makes me think about this. Like a lot of people, like with spouses and stuff, they don't like to know their other spouse 
they don't really like let their spouses know they made a lot of money, right? So if you're a guy and you've got a wife that spends tons of money, you can just secretly be having the secret sauce indicators, making a bunch of money, not tell your wife because you know she's going to go out and book a pool to be built in your backyard. And then everything you made is gone, right? <laughs> <laughs> so it's not only secret sauce, secret proprietary software, but your secret is safe with us that you just made 30 or 60% on your money because you know to really – you know, bank it up, you need to keep the money in the market. So I suggest when you're banking 60% on stuff like this, you just keep it on the down low, right? <laughs> <laughs> or your wife's going to put a pool in your backyard and then you're done. You're out, game out, cashed out for the pool. <laughs> then, then you're going to be vacuuming the pool all day instead of trading oh, crypto. <laughs> I, just, I just, I just, I just watched, I watched the leaves fall to the bottom. I said, no, I'm trading. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not. Yeah, I'm not doing the pool today. <laughs> so funny how did you know? The damn, the wind's blowing the leaves. All right. Um, this is exciting. Fine, guys. So I hope today was really good for you and you, you enjoyed it. Um, super exciting find. I, I would say though, Joe. Um, I do know this is a one-day chart. I think we should take a perspective and let's look at the one week. On a one day, I say it's risky to be buying this if you're going to sell it in one day. Just the fact that it's so above and beyond the Keltner band. Um, what is your opinion on that? If you're trading on a one-day chart and you're wanting to get in and out in one day, I, I would suggest that this, for me personally, it's a take profit time for most people. So, um, Joe, if, if someone was looking at this wanting to buy it right now, what would you say? Oh, well, I mean, look, it, uh, right now it's above that top Kelter, and that's correct. You don't really want to buy it when it's atop that. Anytime you see the market, right, uh, trading above the top Kelter band on the ERI, okay, buying this market would be, be like putting your hand on a hot stove. It's going to hurt, you know, and you're not guaranteed that you're not going to have burns and you might have to go see a doctor. <laughs> right right okay so i think that's important so with that being said you know we're finding one that is that is hot right but then so maybe with the theory of looking at this kind of stuff it's like you found the hot stove right so someone's getting profit there but then you know how do we find something that is getting hot and, and sizzling so maybe we look at the 60 minute and and four hours to know what's hot and ready to get in right now or or the one well, day you you have to set your alerts susie that's the only way set your alerts i mean it's very difficult to try to watch all of these markets right but through technology and new innovation we can set our alerts and we can find opportunities and this is one right here where we got a bell alert so the thing is is that um there's always going to be an opportunity out there, right? It's just a matter of uh, organization and preparation finds opportunity. That's a good organization and preparation. I love it. All right. So anything else you want to, like, let everybody know before we drift off today? No, I mean, look, that's it. Um, I think the markets are going to be under pressure. And uh, once we get past uh, this week, it, you know, maybe we'll, we'll, we'll see some type of bottom in place. But, uh, you know, until then, you know, look for uh, other coins other than the majors um, because th there's other opportunities and there's more to this crypto uh, universe other than than Bitcoin. So if Bitcoin is going down and it's got you depressed, take it off your your you know, delete it off of your 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 profile, your profile list and put in there different coins that are more in the condition or the criteria that you want uh that you need to happen to win. And what you really need to win in this game is you need the radar to be green, you need uh the TSI and you need the ERI. And if you can find an opportunity where you can uh, set your alert and when your alert triggers, you'll catch the beginning of that. That's generally where you'll have success. Um, but if you're chasing the market or try or caught up in any type of emotion of FOMO, um, then that's when, you know, it can be more difficult. All right. And to so the end, I want to show you guys helium. Um, 
this is pretty big. Look at this, the signal line hit May 21st. And then, yeah, the, the, the trend wasn't there yet, but the key came in, right? And then the resistance didn't, wasn't powerful enough to switch the, the trend line to go green. But then look, if you got in right there at that signal line, let's take the ruler. This does some really good rewards. But went as high as 59% up in 20 days. And look, the early reversal came in right there. So but then, then we have some resistance. So maybe it's some people are taking profit, which I don't blame them, right? But here's here's like a past performance where you could see where I, so this indicator is uh, this line is showing the uh, signal line movement, and then this one is showing what is oh the sig the the change in the um, trend, and then um, actually we can switch this to the TSI the trend strength, I could delete this one, I guess. But you can see the switch there. So boom, boom, these two hit at the same time, TSI and then the bell came in. And then you can see the early reversal came in saying, oh, you're gonna have some resistance and we did, but then it fought through that. And you guys remember, just last thing I wanna remind you, when you see the red on the early reversal indicator, that means it's in the red zone of the volatility index, okay? When you see black, it's in the let the cake bake zone. And so you can see you don't have green yet because it's not out of the let the cake bake zone. So we're still, it's like it's flirting with those bottom Keltner bands, but it went up. So remember, when you get to the top of that Keltner band, take profit, just take profit. <laughs> it could go higher and it does, right? Like we just saw in the last one, but please, if you want to just, if you want to see the money, take profit. <laughs> Um, something's better than nothing, right? So right here, that would have been 55%. So totally makes sense if things went down. So everybody, they are probably sold and they're just waiting to get back in. And I'll be honest with you, Joe, I had a client that took like $7,000 and turned it into $100,000 by just following one coin. And he's a, uh, an anesthesiologist. So he watches heart monitors and on one person, right? You focus on that one person's heartbeat. So I bet, guys, if you guys just focus one market and you just master the heartbeat of that market and you understand it, you could really go from zero to hero with just following one coin. You don't have to like look at five different points, one coin, follow that coin, and then um, work that. And and I think less is more in this case scenario, as it was with with the anesthesiologist. And as soon as he left that one coin that he knew every heartbeat of that coin, he started losing because, because he didn't know it as much. So um, we're out. I'm sorry. It's, it's 12 minutes past. So you guys have a great week. And thank you, Joe, so much. And I look forward to um, seeing you guys next week. Okay. Thank you, Susie. Have a, have a good week trading, everyone.